Hello friends, my name is Kishan. In this video tutorial, today we are going to discuss a spring bean inheritance strategy. A bean definition can contain a lot of configuration information including constructor arguments, property values and container specifics such as initialization method, static factory method name and, and so on. A, a child bean definition inherits configuration data from a parent definition. The child definition can override some values or add others as needed. A spring bean inheritance has nothing to do with the core java inheritance but inheritance concept is same. You can define a parent bean definition as a template and other child beans can inherit required configuration from the parent bean. So here is the eclipse. Let's go ahead and create a uh, project. So cl right click over here, new Java project. I would give the name a spring bean project. So just create a project with a spring bean inheritance project and click on the next click on the finish now i'm going to add a spring jars in my project class path so go to the configurable path select library is click on the add library select user library next and here is the user library click on the finish okay so a spring related jars I have added in my project class path. Now let's create a class in package com dot infotech dot model and this class name I'm going to specify person. This class contains some private fields like private integer id private string name Pri private string gender and let's create corresponding public setter getter method so go to the source generate setters and getters select all fields click on the ok so we have generated setters and getters actually. now let's create another model class with name employee in the same package now here this bin i want to treat as a subclass and this may be the super class in that case this all property we are going to declare in child bin and this child bin may contain some extra properties as well like private nesting pan number right so this is the extra property which child bin contain now right click over here go to the source generate getters and setters for this now let's create a xml file so go to the source folder new and search for the xml select this xml file option now give the file name beans.xml so let's create this file so this is the blank xml file we here we required xml doc type so which we can copy from existing example so let me find out so open this project go to the xml file and copy this doc type from here and paste it yeah now let me close this project okay so this is the xml doc type now here we can configure our bin so our first bin is 
person so bin id equal to in a specify person and you need to specify the qualified name of your bin class so copy qualified name and paste it over here this bin contain some fields so here these are the fields and you have generated corresponding set or getter methods so here we are going to use set or base dependency injection because every property has corresponding public set or methods so this set or method will be called by the spring container and value will be set it so let's configure these properties so first property we have a property name and value something like this so copy this tag three times so we have a three property id name and gender so let's this is id suppose id is 1009 then second property we have a name name suppose son son murphy now gender gender suppose gender is name so we have configured this property this bin now let's configure another bin another bin we have a employee so id equal to employee and class equal to we are going to specify the qualified name of this class okay now let's say this bin contains four fields was well, these are the fields uh, uh, we want to inherit from the parent bin parent bin these are the fields we want to inherit from the parent bin and uh, this bin has a also uh, one extra property is called pan number so here what i will do uh, you can give property name equal to pan number and here value equal to specify some dummy pan number something like this okay so in this case we want to inherit these properties from parent bin into this child bin but how uh, spring will come to know this is a child bin and this is a parent bin so in so we will have to provide some clue to the spring framework here you need to specify a attribute is called parent and parent id of this bin so in this case person is your parent bin and this is a child bin so here now child bin may inherit all proper all its properties from its parent bin or a uh, child bin has also opportunity to override any of the parent bin property so suppose if you want to override this property name property so here you will have to write name and value equal to show show name right so so id and gender is going to inherit from the parent property but uh, name will be overridden in the child property here shown morphy but if you try to retrieve this bean and try to print the value for name then you will get shown m so let's create a client program so create a package com dot info take dot client and give the class name client test select main method here we are going to create stack application context class path xml application context here we are going to specify configuration file name here we may use this context get bin and 
and here I'm going to use this get bin method. Here you are going to I would like to retrieve the child bin employee, and this will be the class. So they return as the employee bin. Now let's print the value of employee. Now get Employee ID Employee name Gender And you can print employee brand card now Finally, we are going to close application context. Okay, so let me run this application. Cool. We got ID. What uh, this ID is getting inherited from the parent bin. Name is overridden. So parent class bin we have written son murphy but here we have given in subclass scene son n so name is getting printed son n now gender is getting inherited from the super parents uh, i mean parent class so parent bin so male and of course pan card is specific to the child bin so whatever value we have supplied here so we got here so guys this is an example of uh, a spring bean inheritance now next video session uh, we'll see how we can define a spring bean inheritance template so that's all I have in this video so if you like this video then please hit in the like button and uh, provide your valuable comments as well so see you in next video thank you guys